so uh, one of the questions that you and I were kind of talking about, it sometimes said that nonprofits should learn to operate more like a for-profit entity, right? To create greater efficiency, not so much in the way of make profit, but to do things kind of smarter and not harder. What right. can nonprofit executives learn from the private sector in your experience? You know, I think there are three things. I think one is really focusing on results. It's been my experience that nonprofits oftentimes are so focused on process that they don't necessarily focus on getting results done. I think second is not to be afraid to change and to be innovative. I've worked with, I worked with a nonprofit, the last nonprofit I worked with, I, I was there 13 years. Three years in, it was obvious to me the structure they had in place was outdated and was mm. not going to accommodate where the future was heading, where you can see where the future was going. So I think being willing to pivot when things aren't working, I think is important. And I think the third thing is to recognize that the nonprofit has assets that it can leverage for its mm. benefits. So I'll give you two examples. That same organization I work with, we had a consultant approach us to help us with our fundraising. And they said, listen, you represent, your, your members are active in a variety of sectors, IT, in financial areas, construction. Those are assets that we can leverage and get these companies to pay to basically access your membership. The organization didn't understand that concept mm -hmm. and lost a golden opportunity in some cases to triple their, their fundraising revenue. Mm -hmm. The second thing is we had a profit, a for-profit entity come to us and say, listen, we think you're sitting on a $20 million market and we want to provide management services to this market. We'll give you $800,000 in order for us to access that $20 million market. Now, the gentleman on staff that they approached thought that was a great deal. Me and others said, listen, if we're sitting on $20 million, why are we, why would we settle for $800,000? Sure, why sure. not reorganize ourselves mm -hmm. and go after the $20 million instead of settle mm -hmm. for the eight hundred? dollars He couldn't understand that mm -hmm. because he was of the mindset, let them do all the work and we can't repivot what we're doing. And so consequently, that opportunity fell by the wayside, all because... Mm -hmm. We, we, we had leadership that didn't understand the importance of pivoting, but also recognize leveraging the assets that we had as an organization. And what I'm hearing uh, a lot about what you're saying is this entrepreneurial kind of a hustle mindset on seize opportunities, make the short-term investments for long-time rewards. I, I see that a lot in business, especially in the nonprofit right. space. I mean, I know because I've been doing the accounting and those processes are usually so incredibly outdated. That's right. uh, and what I've found is that sometimes there's, a, you know, that you need to make some changes. You don't know where to go or it just continues to fall further and further and further down the priority list, That's uh, right. not realizing that you're giving up a lot of time and efficiency in the short run um, simply because you just don't have the bandwidth to fix it. And so I will say as a for-profit business owner myself, that's not unique to the nonprofit world, right? Uh, I started a, a firm from scratch and I did all of the things. All, I never worked harder right. than I did for myself, even even, right. even for a nonprofit, right? That's right. kind of That's crazy. Right. Right. I, I was burned out in that job and I left and I still had to force myself to re-engineer these processes, find efficiencies. Like right. I, I still did it. It was still hard. I still felt like I didn't have the bandwidth, um, but we have to kind of keep so many of these things constantly asking ourselves how can we do it differently how can we do it differently so and, and i think i think the nature of the entities forces you to ask that question as an entrepreneur right and simply having an entrepreneur mindset doesn't mean that you have to be in a for-profit arena absolutely yeah and i think even when people are looking to hire people they tend to miss that point yeah i i find my the clients i love working with the most are very entrepreneurial minded in the nonprofit right. space. And they're wanting That's to right. do things very unique. And it's going to be interesting to see how leadership styles shift, um, right. you know, as the world is constantly and rapidly evolving. Um, right. Exactly. Yeah. 